contact. I want to share this play with you, this centre bounce setup that we had in round 21, 2005 against the Western Bulldogs. It was crunch game. Any Whoever won would be into the finals. You would have noticed I, I just I kicked a goal to put us, I think, about three points in front. So the adrenaline was rushing. But what happened was we, we as a midfield, there was left-hand side of the screen there is Philip Reid. There's on the right of me about to line up is Travis Johnson and Brock McLean. We got in really early and Travis, I remember Travis saying to me, we've got to hit this forward. We've got to get the momentum going forward our, our way. So for me, going against Will Minson, who's my direct opponent there, he likes to jump and lead with his left leg. For me, I like to come on a bit of an arc. So you see there's space to the left-hand side there, a big, big gap. And our plan, our focus was to try and get it in that area and have Philip Reid as the blocker. Brock McLean was on Adam Cooney at the right-hand side of the screen there, muscling up just to be the sweeper. But I needed some pace on the ball. And I knew that Travis Johnson was very, very good with his leg speed. So the plan was, in this situation, was to get the ball forward, but to, to use it to my advantage. So at the end of the day, I need to win the tap. I need to push it forward. So for me to have an arc where the umpire was coming, I knew the ball was going to bounce away from his head and more so over to Will Minson's head so he can give me a, a, a more run up in the centre circle. And the plan was to get into that 10 o'clock position. So watch how this unfolds. It's a, it's a great setup, but it just shows you that when you have a plan in place with your midfielders, you don't have much time when you go to the centre bounce. It really can work effectively. They've all dropped behind the ball. Here comes Johnston. It's the Demons by three.